Okay, so can you talk through sure. what we're about to do here? So basically what we have is, uh, so this laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi network Radio Chat 1, uh -huh. um, which is being broadcast by this Pico W. Um, okay. And this laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi network Radio Chat 2, which is being broadcast by that Pico W. And I'll just show that I'm connected to Radio Chat 2. Okay. So what, what we can do is I'm going to send a message from this computer, um, and that message will go over Wi-Fi to the Pico, and then over SPI to the uh, radio module. Uh -huh. Then it will be broadcast uh, over radio using the lower high modulation scheme uh, to this radio module. And it'll travel back over SPI to uh, this Pico, and then over Wi-Fi <laughs> to this okay. computer. Okay, so we have a so we have a a Wi-Fi interface to the Pico. And then the two Picos can communicate to one another and ultimately to the other laptop through Laura. Exactly. Cool. Okay. So I'll just send the message, hello. Uh, and I'll hit send. And now if you reload, it's... we get hello <laughs> with some characters at the end. <laughs> with some bonus. <laughs> okay. With, with some bonus. Should I try to send back? Yeah. Okay. You can, you can go so and send back. I will send for now. And send. And I'll reload. Oh, this is. And we did not get Cornell. That is disappointing. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> send. Reload. It's possible that this is the issue with the post request on the. Oh, back. sure. Um, sure. So, I can connect to Radio Chat 2 if you want. Okay. And we can try and do it that way. Um, or, uh... So the bug likely lives in the, an operating system thing? I think so. Yeah, um, okay. Okay, interesting. So now I am on Radio Chat 2, and I will send to Cornell again. Okay. Um, I'll hit send, and then I'm going to connect back to Radio Chat 1. Oh, sure. Um, okay. And then, let's see. I try connecting. Which one? And, and then we have there Cornell. You got it. Okay, um, gotcha. So, yeah, it's just the CRLF versus LF sure. bug. And technically, the HTTP protocol does say you have to use CRLF. But I think pretty much every web server is agnostic to it. Okay. So, um, it's just my sketchy Pi one that I wrote. Okay. <laughs> it's not, not agnostic to it. Um, That's yeah, really so. neat. I, I don't suppose you've done any kind of like range testing to see just how far that... Um, so I have done with similar radios. Yeah. Um, and with like nice antennas, you can get a few miles. That's really um, cool. Uh, and with these antennas, my guess is you can get maybe like a mile line of sight. That's really neat. Um, but I haven't done much range testing with these antennas. Okay. Um, I also accidentally, the reason this one is standing up and this one is not, uh -huh. is um, I accidentally cut a little bit off of this one. Okay. So <laughs> this one's probably a little less tuned than, than that one. Gotcha. <laughs> awesome. That's really neat. Cool.